So hot. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Because that, I mean, that might have been one of my favorite kilns that I've done in a long time. What is up, guys? Welcome to the studio. I am John the Potter. It is great to have you here today. We have lots of stuff going in the studio. That kiln is going right now. You can hear it clicking away. Uh, this kiln is full of completely finished pottery, which we are going to show you in this video. It's very exciting. All of it will be for sale November 9th, which is our next restock. We only have three restocks until Christmas. So no, the 9th, Black Friday, and then the 14th. And then we're going to take a little break after that. So if you want to get any pots, make sure you hop on there. We have some super exciting stuff in here. Some interesting glaze combos. I'll just take this first thing is a really, it's kind of a new combo. It's kind of not, but Aurora Green and Sandstone over Norse Blue. And there's like these really cool micro crystals in there. Yeah, that's... So I really like this glaze. Unfortunately, we had one that dripped totally off. And usually it won't break anything, but that broke it bad. Oh, the bottom of these too. I, this is kind of different for me. So there's a, a wire tool that has like waves in it and I decided to do that. It's kind of cool. I, I don't know, I kind of want to do it more often. So my logo is actually JTP stamped in the handle instead of normally it's just on the bottom. It's, it's a cool little technique. I like it. I think I might do it more often. These are the first ones that I really don't like that. Got a good old set of four. So these are the bases of all those. So those turned out sweet. Okay. And then we have Canyon Skies. This is one of my classic glazes. There's really two classic glazes that I do. So that's glazes that like before I became partners with Mako, I did this one a lot. I had like five combos that I did a lot, but now I just do either Canyon Skies or Northern Lights. So this is Aurora Green over Green Opal. Whoa. That's cool. I didn't even see that in real life. I was looking in the camera. But a few more of these Canyon Skies ones. Sweet. Like right when I open a new shelf, I always immediately look to the bases of all the pots to see if they dripped everywhere. Whoa, I see one dripper. Whew. Hot. That dripped pretty bad. Wow. I think I did four of these, so that's good news. Not. But everything else in here looks pretty good. Ooh, yeah, so this is a new little tester I did. So this is copper ore, which is super drippy. You literally have to just put a little tiny bit of run around the rim and it drips like crazy. So I did that over satin patina and that looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. What do you think? What do you think? That's cool. That was kind of a tester. Whew, this one, man, it's hot. Okay, so this is Aurora Green over Green Opal. Whoa, ha, he, whoa. I gotta, so you can't even really see, but I did put these little like facets in there, but the glaze just dripped so much that you can hardly even see them, but you can kind of see them right there. Whew. Wow, it's hot. Glove, so hot. Okay, this is something I'm pretty excited about. This glaze is really new and really, really interesting. So we're doing this custom order for a friend of mine from One Shot Media. So they're giving these out as gifts. I don't do these very often, but every once in a while for friends and people that I like. There's a little more Canyon Skies. That's, that turns out so good. That brown in there is so pretty. So pretty. This is a glaze I love and sold really well in the last restock. So cool. Raspberry Mist, Norse Blue, all over winter wood. Super good. Super good. Ouch. There's a bunch of them in there. Woo, hot. Hot. I don't think I've ever done a kill unloading when it's been so hot, but I was just, I was just feeling it. Aurora Green over Green Opal. It's a really, it's a really dynamic glaze combo with all those crystals in there. I like to load them on. And out of all of them, this was the only one that dripped off and it just barely dripped off the bottom. So this is gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of mugs in this kiln. I have, 
Normally I can get like three shelves of mugs, wow, and then I usually put something like a little shorter on top, but I'm pretty sure I got four shelves of mugs on this one. I see a couple really bad drippers. Oops, oops, oops. But, wow, that's amazing. See, this is why I like, this is why I'm okay with dripping sometimes because like, so these two, right? These two were glazed the exact same way. And this one dripped everywhere. So I have to either refire it or throw it away or just get rid of it or whatever. This one, turned out absolutely perfect and it's gorgeous. OMG. Like, and it's perfect. No drips whatsoever. It's got these little tiny micro crystals in there. Oh, might be one of my favorite mugs I've ever done right here. I'm not even joking. That's so cool. So cool. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this is so exciting. Uh, what did I do here? I think it's um, sandstone with a little tiny bit of Norse blue on the top and then Aurora green over that. that that's, that's, that's a special glaze right there. I need to, I got to remember that one. So this is Aurora green over sandstone straight up. So there's no, that other one has a, another glaze in the middle. So if you can see the difference, I mean, there's really not that big of a difference. And this one, I guess it's a little more bluey purplish. This one's more greeny. But there, there's a third glaze combo in there. Opposed. But that's pretty dang good. That's one of my fave combos right there too. Oh, and then we got another, another one of these that dripped. So that will have to be dealt with that. So that's cool, but got a pretty big drip on there. It's actually not the worst drip ever. Oh my gosh, a couple of these dripped. I gotta be a little, a little more careful with those. But I think that I'm gonna be able to fire them upside down and they will be all right. Wow, I mean, glaze is amazing. Glaze is amazing, but a little too thick. So here you go, satin patina and winter wood. Kind of digging that combo recently. Looks really good when that satin patina gets kind of thinner, it like kind of shows through on a different color and I really like that. So on the, on the texture, it's really nice. Here's one of my favorite combos, that metallic-y midnight rain over winter wood. Love that. And it must have really slowly cooled because there's a ton of micro crystal growth in there. If you can see that. Here's more of these, ooh, sand, or not sandstone, satin patina, winter wood, and they have the cool little wavy base. Those are, those are super fun. Super fun. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is really cool. Really cool. A couple of them did drip pretty bad. That's really a pretty special glaze too. That, wow, this is like, this is like one of the most, I mean, there's kilns that come out that I kind of play everything safe where I know nothing's gonna really drip, but it's also you don't get these like unbelievable combos in my eyes, in my opinion. Obviously this is all subjective, but like, like just look at this. This is just the coolest. I don't, I can't, it, I'm sure it doesn't come out in the camera as cool as it is, but it is just, it's unbelievable. The depth and the variation and the, the micro crystals. Oh my gosh, that is just so good. So, so good. Same with this one. This one's really good, but it does did have a little bit of drip on it there. So I will have to refire a few things. Just fine with me. If you know, if you know anything about me, I don't mind refiring things. Sometimes I like the results better after they get refired. I don't love scraping kiln shelves. Sometimes the results are worth it. All right, and then on the bottom, yes, yes, that's really good. I was actually nervous about this combo because 
this lavender mist has seemed really thick, but you must just have to put it on pretty thick. So that is, these have been one of the best sellers in recent restocks and they are, they are really cool. And then these ones are gonna be really cool too. So these are that faceted, faceted lavender mist, super cool. So that's basically all that's in the bottom shelf here. Whew. So a few more of these satin patina in winter wood. I really like that color. So, so good. Well, this is, so there's a few more. I mean, there's like a bunch of those lavender mist pots in there. They all basically look like either this, they look like this. And I think they all turned out pretty good. They didn't all melt or anything. So I'm just gonna, I often will unload a kiln and I'll just leave the bottom shelf for a little while until I can kind of like space out. Oh, Cause that, I mean, that might've been one of my favorite kilns that I've done in a long time. It's also one of the kilns that I have been the most happy with, even though there's probably like 10 pots that either need to have the bottoms ground down really well, or they need to get refired, which sometimes I'm disappointed about that, but sometimes it's like, hey, we get more fun and more cool things that might happen in the glazing. So, all right, I'm gonna just count these pots really quick, give you guys a new total for the year. And then I think we'll be done with this video. One, two, three. 59, 59 pots in that kiln. So this is how we've been keeping track of all of our pots. So, so far in October, hey Siri, what is 54 plus 48 plus 34 plus 34 plus 43 plus 42 plus 41 plus 59? 54 plus 48 plus 34 plus 34 plus 43 plus 42 plus 41 plus 59 is 355. So 355 is our total in October, which is a lot for us, which brings our total for the year to, hey Siri. 2,607 plus 355 is 2,962. 2,962 pots is our total so far for 2020. Uh, that means our next kiln load, we're gonna go over the big 3K, which I bet I've never made over 2,000 pots before in a year. I bet we're over by, I mean, I've never kept track in the past, which is unfortunate, so I can't compare, uh, but I bet we're, we're way over what we normally would be. All right, hey, that's it for this video, guys. If you wanna check out any of these pots, November 9th, they will be up for sale, 6 p.m. Central Time, etsy.com slash shop slash John the Potter. Check out our book on Amazon, and I hope you're all staying happy, healthy. All right, we'll see you guys. Oh, I have to ask you to subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things, and we'll see you guys in the next video.